B route here, there's gonna be a very big play right over the center, and then you can see the spacing is just crazy. So all you have to do is bullet and pass lead away from the safety, and I get a very easy one play touchdown. The for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a current gen video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over the best offense and defense to use in current gen, as well as I'm going to show you guys some unique ways to get one play touchdowns against some of the most popular coverages Woo! in the game. So, starting off, we're in the Green Bay Packers playbook, and the offense I'm going to show you was one of my favorite offenses last year, and that's out of the single back wing flex close. This offense has a really good series of run plays out of it, more specifically the halfback zone week. Uh, the jet sweep and the halfback stretch. I have them all set up in my audibles as well as the four verticals play, which is really going to be the best passing play. It also has some really good additional plays like the drive wide corner and uh, the PA booty wide sale, uh, which is something that you can use in conjunction with these plays to create an entire offense. I'm really going to go over the four plays in my audibles. I'm going to go over the, the run plays. I'm going to go over the four verticals the most. Uh, let's go ahead and let's start off by picking um, the, the stretch. Now, I'm not going to go over the run plays too much. If you get a man coverage, though, the jet sweep is typically best because there's not a cornerback out here. Typically, they'll be both be on the left side. Uh, this You have a good inside run, so you have a gap over the uh, the guard or the center. You could run the halfback zone weak, and then the halfback stretch is going to be best gets cover three, cover four, anything where the cornerbacks drop back. Even a man coverage like this, where you can see there's not really a second level of defenders because it looks like an all-out man blitz. You can have a very successful rushing attack with those three plays. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go over the four verticals because this is going to be the most explosive passing play in the formation. We'll go ahead and we'll start off on the defensive side. We'll match. We'll go 4-3, and then we'll match with uh, cover 2. This play here is going to be an explosive one-play touchdown against most defenses, which is why this is one of my favorite plays in the game. It's been one of my favorite plays since last year, if you're on current gen. All you're going to do every single time is motion this guy out here. Um, put the B route on a streak. Put the A route on a drag. Block your running back. These are all additional steps you can do, but ultimately all you really have to do is streak the B route, streak the A route, and motion out the X route. That's all you really have to do because the running back will perform the task of the drag uh, that the tight end is being asked to do. And then other than that, I mean, the B route here is going to be a very big play right over the center. Uh, a lot of times, you got to put your fast receiver in that spot. But this is a play that against cover, too. I mean, you can have success against the with the B route and with the X route outside. Uh, all you really have to do is get time to throw that. And you can see how you can basically pick apart any cover, too, with both of those routes. I find the drag is probably more successful. Blocking the running back, dragging the tight end. This is going to give you a little bit more success to the outside route as you can see it just kind of pulls that cornerback down a little bit quicker but ultimately you can do it with a much more basic setup just by motioning out the receiver also has a lot of success against man cover too so we'll go ahead and we'll pick that we'll do that out of the nickel exact same setup. you don't really have to change anything and we're going to have pretty much the exact same success the b route here is going to get open over the middle once again here even in a nickel package he's still covered by the linebacker which is something that can be very successful as well the running back's going to be a good check down against pretty much everything by the way if you're going to do this uh once again speed's going to be key on the outside receiver as you can have success to uh you know adams is not necessarily the fastest but he's really good route running you can see you can have success to the outside as well next up i'll show you guys cover three and cover one which is going to be the exact same setup let's go and let's pick uh, we'll pick cover three sky. Exact same setup. Motion this guy out. Put the inside guys on uh, streaks. And you're going to see how the B route here, just because of that spacing, is going to get open up the seam, which is classic when it comes to cover three. So typically vulnerable up the seam. So you can get very big catch and runs. A large reason that this happens is because the cornerback reacts down to this motion on this receiver. So that's really why you're having this success. And then you can see the spacing is just crazy. So all you have to do is bullet and pass lead away from the safety. And I get a very easy one play touchdown, a very large catch and run against cover three up the seam. Cover one is pretty popular too. So we'll go ahead and pick cover one. Against cover one, it'll have the same success. You just want to make sure that you have your fastest receiver running the uh, the correct route. As you'll see here, once again, Scantling 
uh, will have success getting past that cornerback as well. As you can see, we get a one-play touchdown against cover three and cover one. Now, since cover three is one of the hardest defenses they don't play touchdown against, I'm going to show you guys a very easy one-play touchdown that you can find just about any single playbook in the game. And that play is the verticals out of the gun bunch. You can find this. Uh, it's also called the Seattle. Uh, it's sometimes called the halfback verts. But the verticals is one of the easiest plays that don't play touchdown against cover three and current gen. So let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to match. Uh, we're going to go with uh, cover three sky. So we're just going to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field, and we're going to motion in this receiver. That's all we really have to do. And you're going to see how this X route here will eventually get gone at a certain point, just as long as you watch the cornerback drop back. Now that play right there, um, I didn't get quite the separation that I was expecting, but we don't have our fastest receiver set up in that spot. Ultimately, though, it still had the same effect. All I had to do is motion him in. You can see how eventually this cornerback, he runs stride for stride to a point, and then he basically stops because he, he basically recognizes that his responsibility will become this crossing receiver. That's what basically changes the responsibility from, from the cornerback in coverage to the safety in coverage. And it's at that point that I bullet and pass lead away from the safety. And then you can see we have a very easy one play touchdown. Like I said, I didn't quite get the separation I was expecting because I didn't put my fastest guy there. But if you put your fastest receiver, there you'll have even more separation on a play like this the best defense in my opinion in uh, current gen is the three sam will blitz but the reason that we're in the multiple defense is because you can basically make this defense with a with a whole slew of safeties if you switch over from the three three five the regular three five to three five wide this is an old trick but it's still the best trick when it comes to defense in current gen so just make sure that you have uh in your three three five wide audibles you have to make sure that you have the three sam will blitz in your audibles, that's something you're going to rotate over from the 335. Then you want to make sure in your 335 you have to substitute safeties in all these linebacker positions in the middle here, uh, which I'm trying to get on here. So basically, uh, you want safeties at these spots. You probably want your defensive ends, your outside linebackers at these spots so you can get the best pass rush possible. So that'd be your setup. Best outside linebackers at defensive ends, uh, run stuffing, defensive tackle, and then safeties at all the linebacker spots. Then you're going to choose any play. It doesn't really matter. As far as this setup goes, I mean, this has been meta since last year. It's nothing really uh, new. All you have to do is switch over to the three Sam Will Blitz once you come to the field. It's really that simple. And then this particular defense, number one, it's got really good alignment when it comes to, um, you know, run fits. I mean, you could basically just, you know, stack the box like this, have a lot of success. You get hard flat for underneath coverage. Uh, you can basically just put all your linebackers in the zone all position, which is going to help. Uh, you know coverage over the middle um, you can you know there's any number of things you can do ultimately uh, this defense is very flexible it's probably the most flexible defense in the game uh, if you want to you could also double Mabel the outside guys uh, giving yourselves hard flats to both sides as I accidentally put the wrong guy there on a hard flat I mean you can you know basically take away all the outside stuff or you could blitz all and this will give you a lot of pressure if you just basically come down in the gap here and then pull back after the play starts I mean you can use this as a really as a really good blitz or you can use this as a really good run defense or you could use this as a very good um, pass defense although there's a lot of guys that are out of position uh, most likely because I reset the play and then I always kind of messes up the play art but ultimately there's a lot of flexibility to be had and cover three is one of the hardest defenses in the game to hit a one play touchdown against uh, which makes this even better uh, when it comes to coverage so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there if you guys want to see more videos like this on current gen whether it's offense or defense Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.